Good evening and welcome to Smart Entrepreneurship Decoded on Transcontinental Times. Tonight I join you from a small town in Indonesia called Lampung. It's on the edge of Sumatra Island, a few hours away from Jakarta. We have met entrepreneurs from all walks of life, from all industries, and people who support these entrepreneurs from various ecosystems, accelerators, incubators, etc. In the show so far, we've had one entrepreneur from the real estate sector. But tonight, I bring you one of the most accomplished entrepreneurs from the sector, a man who has a, who says that even in his family, he's probably the first tenth pass who studied civil engineering in a small town. And today his company is one of the leading real estate developers in one of the fastest growing cities of India, which is Pune. Join me tonight in wel welcoming Mr. Ankush Asar, the CMD of Venkatesh Buildcom. Welcome, sir. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening. So nice to meet you. I think we should start because I often speak about the fact that there are certain stories that need to be told. Often in the media, we are you know, fed stories from the Western world of people who are billionaires there and their stories. And when I look at India, there are so many people like yourself who have such amazing, remarkable stories of accomplishment that they must be told because you are role models of the youth of today. So I would request you to tell us how you got into real estate and what got you to where you are today? Uh, sir, actually, uh, after completed, uh, completing uh, civil engineering, uh, that time in uh, 90s, there was a uh, government uh, came with the zero budget scheme that government job was not there for uh, 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 civil engineers. Then, there was the industry, only the private real estate industry was there. And then I came to Mumbai for a job actually. And uh, I started as uh, working with a real estate developer in Mumbai. And so after some, uh, some years, I started as a contractor. Then I came to Pune in a real estate, for real estate. And since last, 25 years I'm in Pune uh, after completing my uh, initial five years in Mumbai. Uh, and as the last 20 years, I am working as a real estate developer. Initially, I, some years I worked as a uh, contractor. And now, since the uh, year 2000, I am in uh, full phase uh, working as a real estate developer from various part of the Pune. So you have seen, uh, you know, the real estate sector and the Indian economy from a time when things were not as easy to do business as they are today. Yes. So what were the early kind of challenges that you faced? Because today there is access to capital. Many people who have not seen that time think today is difficult. But I know you would have gone through much more difficult times. What were the challenges that time? Sir, before globalization, I mean, the when I completed the uh, my education in the year 1989, I went to Mumbai, and uh, after 93 uh, started globalization, and some FDI came, and you know, other industry also started flourishing. Initially, I, I I must say that the rate of interest or finance was very difficult for uh, real estate developers, and that time. Lot of developers was dependent on private finance, and but since uh, 2000 or uh, 2008, or mainly or to 2000, uh, the way the bankers bankers came across to help real estate sector, housing loan got cheaper, 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 and thus government also helped a lot for uh, housing and housing sector. And now it is finance is very easy, but that time it was very difficult and. Actually, demand was also very less due to non-availability of the finance sector in the market for buyer also and for developer also. Now, uh, it is so easy. Uh, there is a lot of finance available from FDI, equity and bankers, custodial finance, everything. 
now we need to do good work and now there is no issue of, of finance i am i'm also telling lot of young entrepreneurs that before 2025 years it was very difficult now it is very easy you should be focused on good work there is plenty of finance but plenty of money available in market lot of sources are there and it is quite easy uh, than True. previous years so so you know the one of the things that the real estate industry struggles with is to establish credibility right buyers are yes. always suspicious rera has helped buyers are always suspicious and yes there have been some isolated cases which erodes that uh, credibility so what yes. do you think you know you have done right or others need to do to build Actually, credibility sir, and trust with the buyer sir rera uh, uh, is a not so difficult or they are not demanding lot from real estate developer it is as good as minimum passing mark how you re we require 35 marks or 40 marks for any passing examination it is like that that minimum these precautions should developer take for the money who, what buyer have put in your name or your project and that is the bare minimum thing i can not so stringent or not so strict and developer should uh, actually previous developer not taking due care of, of, of the fund the booking amount or they were uh, he was doing lot of um, um, uh, he was shifting fund from this project to other project other land he was then that was the not uh, due to that the government came with this uh, uh, law and now buyer is uh, really uh, thinking that he is safe and his money is safe custody and government and uh, uh, some authorities there to look after and now real estate <coughs> buyer have got lot trust that this project will be completed or otherwise at least his money won't go uh, other than uh, uh, project yeah, and, because uh, but, but your uh, company has been there before rare. Rare. <laughs> but before rare also i was there and my sri venkati bilkan the what Rera is uh, proposed, what Rera has proposed, we are doing it since initial stages. I never siphon the money for, for, from any project or other project. I, every project I have completed before time. And um, since last 20 years, there is no single day delay in my uh, any project uh, possession date. And uh, that uh, if delay is not there, the track record is good, then nothing to worry actually and buyer will uh, yeah. definitely so, brand. <clears throat> one of the trends that has caught on with more and more people being pushed into upper middle class and more and more people watching international series uh, traveling overseas the demand on some of the quality and the finish has gone through the roof and yes, there's so much technology today so what does a a real estate developer like her do to just I stay think, up to date yes ma, ma, I, I can say that buyer is so learned so educated now he knows each and everything and uh, he has uh, he got lot of knowledge about real estate how to buy what the project what the fitting what is the finishes everything he knows and due to uh, the exposure he got that uh, due to the it industry he uh, usually travels abroad on site and everything. He knows, he knows what amity should be there, what is the useful amity, what is the specification you should get. That now, due to this uh, exposure, buyer is demanding oh, very, uh, means more and more amenities in the project. He looks for comfort, safety, amenities, everything he, he wants from the that uh, project. And real estate developer also uh, doing all the uh, taking all the care, care for to cater this uh, his requirement in uh, release for the real estate projects so it is, it, is a, it is a demand from buyer and uh, that's why developer is proposing uh, what buyer expects and he is doing uh, so in the last three years with the pandemic i mean initially it was a huge shock right everything came to a standstill and that must have been difficult enough 
but once things have kind of opened up do you see a shift in the kind of uh, residential units people are looking uh, are they looking for more space are they looking for yes. offices at home what does it look like now now actually the before a pandemic uh, the sizes of the homes was very uh, actually less size they are looking after but now each and every person is looking for one room extra as a home office or working from home space uh, study room for kids the, the requirement of uh, bigger sizes home is uh, got up and now uh, and the importance of his own house the due to this pandemic he understood and now he is looking for a lot of millennium also thought that uh, they were thinking that there is no need of uh, own house why to invest why to take money why to take loan but now they also got to know that own own house is the much needed thing and now a lot of buyers are there and across the whole india the inventory i think in uh, average two years uh, or hang in uh, uh, inventory was there it all went in second pandemic and now it is uh, the demand got up and especially real estate projects or uh, the residential project have so, huge demand yeah since your company is mostly the, in pune and around what yes, does the outlook right now for uh, the pune real estate sector look like what's the sir, inventory like and what does the next 2 3 years look like actually sir uh, uh, currently there is only four to six week uh, six quarters of uh, inventory overhang is there in pune and it is a very healthy inventory and that's not uh, bad uh, and what happened? I said that is not bad. Many yeah, other big cities are much more healthy, healthy inventory. Well, actually, yeah. buyers will also get the choice for good project or otherwise. If there is not inventory, then he he might fail to get good project or good inventory or good choices. True. It is a very healthy in, uh, 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 inventory. And due to increasing the FSI, the possession date is also got late. That huge FSI skyscrapers and everything we are. Uh, Pune is uh, looking like that uh, in, in coming five, six years, there will be a lot of uh, skyscrapers will be in Pune, a lot of new technology will become in real estate. Uh, there, there is huge scope and uh, Pune's demand will grow and grow. It will be, I think in next two, three years, well, more than 50 percent demand will uh, increase in Pune, Pune market. Last That's, six, yeah. five, six years, it is in between 30 to 40,000 units per year. I think it will go up to 50,000 in two, three years. Yeah. When I see Pune, I'm reminded of how Bangalore grew at one time. A yes, city sir. which had bungalows and was flat suddenly, you know, started sprouting up. And when I travel to Pune, I see similar kind of thing happening in the outskirts and newer areas. Sir, last, uh, last year, uh, Pune and Maharashtra Urban Development Department came with the unified uh, uh, DC rules that uh, FSI have gotten up that to to cater the increased FSI developer how to go high rise otherwise he can't utilize the uh, FSI now uh, Rho says bungalow twin bungalows it is it it, it won't happen in uh, real estate of Pune. True. whatever happened it is over but now everything is uh, new making in pune even in central pune or old pune there is a lot of redevelopment projects going to uh, going to happen and all entire city will get make over as a skyscraper only so mr ankush you know the globally we are seeing over the last two years a mm -hmm. uh, huge multifold increase in commodity prices right Yes. steel, cement, almost every major input that you use has all, sometimes doubled, tripled or more. How is the industry coping with it? I mean, you and it's not easy to pass it on, right? Consumers also are affected by inflation. Now, that is, uh, this is a very good question, actually. And uh, since overall pricing in one year, the, the cost of project is got up by around 40, 40, 40 to 50 percent is uh, Clustering cost. It is a uh, around thousands or thousand odd square uh, rupees square per per square feet is 
increase the cost of construction and actually government should look and uh, actually buyer can't afford this uh, increased cost or and developer don't have that margin to cope up uh, that increased cost uh, that's why uh, since last uh, one quarter were every real estate developer have increased their pricing and uh, actually last since last month last actually two, two weeks little bit still pricing uh, is coming down it is uh, it was uh, almost 2.5 times in one year now it yeah. is just started coming down uh, but now i think it is uh, impossible to come the previous uh, one year price level but now government have came with some excise duty cut and petroleum cost is uh, petrol and but diesel prices have uh, uh, came down that is this effect we got to that some 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 level pricing will come down and it's now, quite tough you know it's quite tough now what is happening is ultimately the buyer is not ready to or he won't get the for this price uh, increase price now we have to look for uh, the land cost actually there is only yeah. one cost that we, where we can say or, or where we can look at the land cost and the what's happening sir the way prices of homes or residential prices are going up or real estate pricing is going up the automatic land cost is going up uh, land cost should be uh, um, but nobody is looking for the cost of uh, construction actually there should be some uh, way that government also have to come out some reduction in gst or some uh, some uh, still yeah. there should be some reduction in the steel and cement and uh, other uh, fittings of cost uh, pricing actually yeah because you know people buy a house the price is fixed that you start constructing over the next two years and all the input cost has gone up 40 45% you have and to absorb it that is the very very difficult to developer that now sir you are matlab you told that it, the duration of two years not it is not the duration of two years now it is as we are construction skyscrapers it is required minimum 3 three and a half years to complete the project if we are selling the units or residential flats at the booking level then uh, the cost is fixed and uh, in the cost of inflation or that uh, increase in the cost of construction there is no scope to uh, complete the project the so, so real estate developer also have to think that at what stage how much he, he, he should sell uh, there should be some scope to uh, cater that increased price there should be some inventory to uh complete uh, the the cocoa with the increased cost actually so mr ankush let's shift track from uh, the real estate and talk about entrepreneurship in general you must be being bombarded by entrepreneurs trying to pitch their ideas to you and yes. uh, have you fund them in some way or the other when when these young people come to you hmm. what is it that you look for what is it that you know you look for and think okay i want to talk to this guy further is there something you particularly look for uh, i look behind him how he focused he is how serious about his own idea how how much he follows uh, whether he, how much hunger he or what is the fire in belly he have if he, i am not get uh, seeing that uh, genuineness in his uh, behavior in, in his attempt then it is difficult to no. uh, i am going to uh, ask you a further question on that because th- this concept of you know um, uh, fire in the belly uh, hard work etc sometimes uh, at least for people from my generation i find it find it lacking right? and most people are just casual they expect funding to be a birthright so uh, <laughs> no, no sir no. do you also come across that not sir now i younger generation is very much uh, educated they knows how, how much effort he have to take for uh, funding and they are ready i am as uh, i am also running one entrepreneurial association i have around 700 odd entrepreneurs in my association i am the leading that association i am seeing young young 
second generation entrepreneurs are very keen in uh, getting knowledge they have lot of idea they have lot of uh, focus they have they are doing lot of homework for that also and it is very, uh, very nice uh, thing that uh, the you, entrepreneurs you may, increasing in yeah. india you are right you're absolutely right and you made an interesting observation of how the young people are different mm. what is what is different in their approach versus what was there at your time sir that time actually the entrepreneur was not aware about uh, the his own capabilities or his own uh, the what what he will he can do what is uh, knowledge or what resources they have in the market or surrounding him now uh, the young generation due to this technology data everything they knows what what is the pain point where is the possibility where is the opportunity everything they know that before 20 25 years 30 years there was a uh, lot of things was going to happen in uh, gut feeling not with data driven now uh, the there is a lot of data available uh, the the right person can uh, decode that data and he can find what the what next opportunity is there and where he have to excel it is a remarkable thing due to technology there is a, a lot easier thing that how what or how and when and where he have to excel everything very very well said one of the things that i notice uh, about a lot of accomplished people like yourself is that <clears throat> when when normally people are young you know in their 20s they think if i ex- get x amount of money i will retire if i b- become this or buy this car or reach this financial goal in life i will retire when i see people like yourselves you know having gone way past what you yourself may have thought when you were young yes sir what keeps you going even now why not just say i want to relax now and uh, to take a different life what keeps you motivated to go on every day at the same pace sir i actually now what i thought that last 20 25 years what i have did and this is the time to experiment uh, utilize the what i knowledge i have got or what experience i have and this is the right time and now we have to work smartly very uh, efficiently and uh, and uh, if we will stop here then uh, what is the use of last 20 25 30 years of hard work now we have to uh, generate more uh, revenue generate more opportunities generate or excel law to what we are lacking or what 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 we have thought and uh, if any entrepreneur will think that like a babu or at 60 i have to retire or at 58 i have to retire then he uh, is not entrepreneur actually he, as a being entrepreneur he have to work till last breath or last day, days and it will keep him young actually if he will stop uh, or uh, to think about the new ideas new business new technology new things then he, he himself will get think that i am now my uh, life over or my everything i have finished but uh, due to this uh, fire due to this ability he can work for longer time and his huge experience will uh, excel in his uh, business actually and the other thing i noticed when i spoke to you pre show is mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people uh, once they accomplish their financial goals uh, and go beyond and there's nothing wrong in doing so they tend to diversify into many areas and go try to go national etc you have remained focused on pune and real estate what is the reason behind that sir uh, actually what i think that real estate is a very local business that in every state there is a lot of other uh, different rules regulations and uh, the issues of every city is different there is a uh, ha uh, now what is happening that government also came with this uh, uniform uh, 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 rules that any developer can at least work in other cities of marat there is same rules there is same fsi everything is now same it, before that it was city to city city to any other city there was a different rule different 
and it was not easy to developer to cater or uh, understand or uh, implement uh, multi 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 level uh, multi city projects now it is a little bit uh, easy to uh, up actually buyer not happy you look that a lot of south south developers are working in south zone only that they are working in bangalore hyderabad chennai trivandrum kochi but no they are not in so much in pune or bombay and even mumbai developer are not so uh, doing uh, or pan india did this was uh, even north developer dla or everything they did, they haven't succeeded in south South zone. Sure, what sure. I thought that this is the uh, local market or local business like that. It is an important lesson for entrepreneurs, you know, that mm -hmm. you should remain focused and it's better to be inch wide, mile deep than the other way around. Especially yeah. when in a country like India, most of our cities are larger than the countries, many of the countries. Yes, uh, right. People yes, get right. excited and want to go national, etc., and spread themselves too thin. It's very, very good, valid advice. Speaking to you, I was listening in rapt attention because you have such disarming candor and such grounded humility. Your answers are so practical that uh, I lost track of time. We are nearly through with time. So I'm going to ask you one final question and not take more of your time. If there was one thing that you wanted to change in the real estate sector over the next three to five years, what would it be? Uh There are a lot, plenty of things that I'm not um, uh, think of one thing that uh, I, still a uh, real estate developer need uh, better financial resources and developer should understand his own business. He should uh, understand his own finances and he should understand or he ha he how to change himself only and only he himself can do otherwise the government or any uh, machinery can't change the uh, things true true in this business uh, getting the finance and managing the cash is such a critical part that you know you need really really uh, for it to be transparent and for it to be do done really well mr ankush asabe it has been absolute pleasure to have you on the show thank you so much for your time and uh, for graciously answering some of my uh, very very odd questions but uh, our viewers will definitely learn a lot from your very very practical wisdom thank you very much good night and all the best Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nalin. Thanks a lot. Thanks, time, uh, Transcontinental Times, and thanks, uh, thanks, the viewers. Thank you, and good night. Good night, sir. Thank you.